The following video and continued growth of this channel are made possible by your support over on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Sign up today at any level you choose and help bring these brand new projects to life. Or if you're looking for a brand new t-shirt, maybe stop by prowrestlingtees.com slash 616 entertainment. I got you covered. What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday, a very, very special episode of Mortal Kombat Monday. Today, I am playing Mortal Kombat 1 for the first time ever. This uh, pre-order beta code was given to me by the one and only Basua, who is a longtime Dan Dan and Patreon supporter. Sub-Zero. You know we gotta check out Sub-Zero, and we are gonna team Sub-Zero with... Frog. Uh, now, we, of, we should start on... Nah, fuck it. Let's start on hard, right? Basawa reached out and he said, Hey, I got an extra beta code if you would like to check out Mortal Kombat 1. And I said, absolutely. I will get an episode of uh, Mortal Kombat Monday out of it. I have not even tried this game yet. This is my first time. <laughs> Round one, fight! Wow, interesting that they didn't say anything to each other. Very interesting that they didn't say anything to each other. Now, I'm gonna try to turn down the, the TV volume a little bit here. Uh, I'm recording in my room right now. It is currently, you guys are gonna see this Monday morning, August uh, 21st. I'm recording this August 20th at 1020 p.m. So I don't have a lot of time to get this going. I have missed the majority of the beta. And uh, that's okay, you know, because I haven't pre-ordered the game yet. Okay, R1 is how you cameo. And I don't think I've been able to pull it off well just yet. Here we go. Bing, bang, and look at this. Holy shit. Man, dude, nobody does it like Mortal Kombat, man. I really like that selling animation of Katana, how she went down there. She Her, like, knees buckled like she got knocked out. Now, I'm noticing the blood covering the costumes is really, really intense. We turned Katana practically all red. You know how Ric Flair's hair would fucking turn red? Now, I'm, I'm giving you my first impressions here. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played this. I did zero practice matches. Um, I, uh, I was wondering how much better this could look than Mortal Kombat 11, you know? Because I think MK11 is a gorgeous game. I have the up the PS5 version of Mortal Kombat 11. That's what I was playing the story mode on. Look at that. That was cool as hell. How do I do a fatality? Is that going to be in here? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Do I have to do it from close? Close or far? I don't know. Forward, down, down, triangle is what we're going to do, though. Okay? So. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Drop her down. Get up. Well, I guess you don't do it close. Sub-Zero wins. Wow. This is so, this is so crazy, man. Playing Mortal Kombat, a new Mortal Kombat for the first time. And I'm recording it. I've never done this before. I've never recorded my first experience with a brand new Mortal Kombat game before. I found it interesting that they didn't say anything to each other. Is that going to change here? All right, no, I guess not. I guess that's just not in the beta. What I was going to say was, graphically, sorry, I'm all over the place here. I'm a little overwhelmed. Let's bring in Frost. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, I was wondering how much better this could possibly look in comparison to Mortal Kombat 11, because I think that game is gorgeous. This looks better. This certainly looks better. This looks so good. The backgrounds are clearer. You, you're seeing it. I don't have to fucking talk to you like you're not looking directly at it. It's so cool to me to see characters like Lee Mei here, you know? Fucking shit. shit. Wow. Did you see that? The way Sub-Zero went up and he kind of did like a corkscrew front flip. That's rare. You know, you normally see somebody come down flat on their back. You see them do a backflip and then they come down on their face. 
They're really, uh, Netherrealm are mixing up the, the selling animations here. Excuse the wrestling terminology. I know not all of you are wrestling fans. Most of you are. But you know what I mean. Look at that. Hold on. Let's get that. Okay, I keep grappling. I said hold on as if I haven't done that five fucking times. But I'm a grappling son of a bitch. We now know that the, uh... Oh, god damn! The fatality's not to be done close. So we will try it from medium range. I need to go in and turn... No, 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 no! Oh, shit. Oh, I blocked it! I did block it! Oh, this is big trouble. Ew! No, 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 no! That was trash! How did she not... I don't know, man. How did that beat me? I launched my fatal blow. Did we not land it? I could have sworn we fucking landed it. Normally at this point, you know, if you frequent this channel, which I assume most of you do, <laughs> I would switch characters here. But uh, we didn't see Sub-Zero's fatality yet, and I would like to see it. Now, I want to thank Basua once again for giving me this code. The only reason I haven't pre-ordered the game yet is because um, I'm just in no rush to do it. The game is very close. I was not even concerned about getting access to the beta at all, because I, I wasn't that interested. It's Mortal Kombat. I trust Netherrealm. I know it's going to be good. You know what I mean? Oh, we blocked it again. I know it's going to be good. Uh, so I'm the type of person who I will sit back and wait, you know? I don't seek out every ounce of gameplay that's out there. For most things that I'm interested in, I avoid trailers completely. I despise trailers. They show too they show too much. But when it comes to Mortal Kombat, you know, we're getting our character reveals and stuff, that's different. What can I if I press down I need to figure out how to experiment with the cameo system. Because I think I can have Frost do more than just one move, right? Okay, yeah, that's new. Forward in R1, she came and she sprayed the ground. And I think that's new. I don't think I've seen her do that yet. Ducking underneath Kano's deal. Alright, she got me that time. Let's get a look at this. Oh, man! That's big time. But you know what's even bigger time? Oh, Jesus! Brutality. Sub-Zero wins. Okay, well, we cut her head clean off. And with the blood just jettisoning it, <laughs> jettisoning out of her fucking stump. Good lord. Okay, well, we still didn't see the fatality. What I was going to say was, I don't go looking for all the fatality clips. I don't even know what most of them look like. I don't know what Sub-Zero's fatality looks like. I don't know what Jax's fate. Oh, look at that, Sub-Zero. Do we have confirmation on like customization and stuff i don't think we've seen anything like that maybe we have but i'm just out of the loop like i was just saying i don't uh i don't go out looking for everything you know i do like the surprise i like to be caught off guard i'm noticing that we just fought on this stage and i'm not uh i'm not super pleased to see it again immediately i do realize this is a beta you know not all the stages are going to be here obviously we have a very limited amount of fighters here as well um, but I want to see more levels, man. Now I'm getting greedy. Now that it's this close, now that I have it in my hands, I'm getting greedy. You know? Oh, goodness gracious. Coming down with that big old ice hammer. Now I feel like that ice hammer should do more damage than it does. Now I, did, I didn't study how much damage it did. I just noticed that I didn't win off that. And that's a finisher anywhere in the world, you know? That's what, that's how I feel about it. Whoa! Okay, down back triangle is how we fucking use that frozen spine and skull deal. Let's do that again. Whoops, maybe not. Jesus! Yeah, look at the blood on him, man. On, on uh, Fugazi Sub-Zero here. Okay, we brought Frost in with up and R1 that time. Dan Dance, has, is anybody, by the time you're seeing this, the beta is just about end shit. God damn you. It's just about oh, ending, I want to say. Did anybody check out the beta? Did you guys play it? 
Who did you like most in the beta? Now, obviously, I started with Sub Zero because uh, Sub Zero is one of my favorite uh, Mortal Kombat. He is my favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time. Am I excited to see this Sub Zero is B Han? Yes, of course I am. I did not even think about the fact that I am not uh, augmenting any of my moves. There we go. See, I'm figuring it out. We're getting there. Let's double check. Move list uh, finisher is forward, down, down, triangle. Advanced view. Yeah, it doesn't say where I need to be, but we know it's not close. We know it's not close to him. I'm not going to take him out with a uppercut just to, to be extra careful. Oh, shit. Well, oh, Jack's coming down. Backbreaker. Well, that was nice, but it wasn't enough. Ooh, I just kicked Jax out of the sky. Here we go. Finish you. There it is. Fatality. Sub Zero wins. Holy shit. That was fucking cool. Frost is looking good. I'm not going to pretend she's not. How about it? <laughs> All right. If we lose our next fight, I will I will switch away from Sub-Zero. And we will check out somebody else. Let's get a look at this startup screen here for old JC. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Now, we both have Frost in our corner. I'm going to say uh, that my Frost is the real Frost. And Johnny's Frost is some Fugazi Frost. From some some dimension, some some timeline that's not nearly as cool as mine. Alright, that's what I'm going to say. Look at that guy. Isn't it so weird to just see, like, normal people standing around? You know what? I'm not really picking up many combos, am I? Cameo moves. Combo. Oh, the throw. I, I, okay. Down, back, down, R1 is a cameo fatality? Ooh, we got to do that. Down, back, down, R1. Okay. Let's do that. Which means now it is very important. It is imperative that we win this fight. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Yes, sir. Boom! Oh, I thought I got him! It's imperative that we win this fight so we can check out the cameo fatality. Down, back, down, R1. I think that's what it said. I'm going to get paranoid that I that I have that wrong. Whoop! Okay. If we jump in with a punch, and I think square... Square triangle triangle is a, is a tiny little combination. Ooh, look at that! That combo in the air! Square triangle triangle is a tiny little combination, but if we jump in with a punch, we could get another little hit out of it. You know what I'm saying? Bing! Bang! Let's double check. I never do this, but this, you know, first time. Where was that? Taunts, what the fuck? Where did that uh, cameo fit? Okay, here we go. Back down, back R1. Back down, back R1. Yes, we got it! Fatality. Dude, that was pretty cool. I like you know what it's kind of cool? It feels like that cameo fatality was a lot shorter. It was a lot quicker. It had less meat on its bones, no pun intended. Very interesting, very interesting. Time for Ken Shi and another Frost. Round one. You know what I would actually like to do? Is I would like to just quit out right now. Should I quit out right now and just start over? I mean, it doesn't matter if I get to the end, right? Will we get an... I don't know if we'll get an arcade ladder uh, ending. 
So maybe I shouldn't do that. But I, I do want to look at other characters. We're like, I don't know, 15-ish minutes into this episode. We won't, we're not going to do a full arcade ladder uh, with everybody. But I, I would like to check out more characters and more cameos. Granted, you know, in a way we are kind of seeing everybody as it is through these fights. Let's see what Kenshi has to offer here. Holy shit. Boom! Get out of my fey. Get out of my way. Dive kick for the finish. Hits his big fucking fatal blow and it wasn't enough. Okay, now people have been pointing out on Twitter the photos in the background there of what appears to be Kano and a younger woman who also has a faceplate. This ability by Kenji is fucking awesome. So does Kano have a daughter in this timeline the way that <laughs> Sonya and Johnny did in the, in the last game? Because that would be that would be quite entertaining. Now there's another thing that I should tell you guys which is um, the episode you were supposed to see today was the finale fuck it was the finale of the Mortal Kombat novel that I started reading on this channel like four years ago. And uh, that episode was done and finished. And only then did the one and only Basua come to me and say like, Hey, do you want a beta code? So next week, we are not going to finish the Mortal Kombat 11 story mode just yet. We're actually going to finish the Mortal Kombat novel. And then we will finish the Mortal Kombat 11 story mode. <laughs> Boom! Okay, do we have any fatalities we haven't done yet? I don't think so. No. So we will do this one again. Fatality. Sub Zero. How do we feel about the shorter uh, ending screens there? I feel like those do not drag on nearly as long as they did in MK11. And at this point, I'm kind of having trouble remembering. Look how cool Liu Kang looks. The lighting effects in this are fantastic. I'm, tr I'm kind of having trouble remembering how they looked in M MKX. But uh, I feel like they're shorter here. And it, it allows you to get back into the action faster. I'm excited to... I love the effect of the fire. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. The, the, the fire effects on Liu Kang's arms are so fucking cool. Look at that, dude! I'm, I'm really blown away by the graphics, to be honest. Like I said, I had no idea. You, we're, we're kind of at that point now, where some games look so good that you're like... Oh. No way, dude. That was the setup for his... Uh, Original Mortal Kombat Fatality. The butterfly kick into the uppercut. But yeah, we're to the point now where some games look so good that you're like, well, how the, how could the sequel look better? You know? How's that possible? But here we are. Ooh, I just figured out the Ice Clone for the first time. I've just been going by instinct on what I think Sub-Zero's moves will be, and I've been right for the most part. I, I, I have said... For, since Mortal Kombat 1 was released that I've, I'm skeptical of the cameo system that I didn't know if I was going to like it because it really doesn't make any sense it's I'm just gonna let him hit this so we can get a look at it Jeez, that was fucking cool um it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. It's basically just Tekken Tag Tournament, you know? But, hold on. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta wrap things up here real quick. Brutality. Sub-Zero wins. Yeah, no, no arcade ladder, uh, no, like, story mode finish there. But that's okay. So now we've had a look at Sub-Zero. We gotta get a look at somebody else. Ooh, look at that little, that little squirrel on the table. He's got his own little table there. I want a game about him. So who do we want to check out next? I keep seeing people online saying Lee Mei is awesome. 
But I gotta be honest, man, I wanna check out Katana. First of all, she's so hot in this game. Holy shit, is she hot. Katana. So we're gonna check her out and we're gonna pair the ladies up together. It's gonna be Katanya and Sonya. Katanya. I guess that's just their name, Katanya. Sonya Blade. And uh, how can I do on very hard? Let's take a look at this. I'm probably gonna get my shit pushed. But we're gonna check out Katanya versus Liu Kang and Jax. I turned the subtitles off too. Man, Katana bad as fuck in this game. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, I'm about to play bad as fuck, but a different meaning of the word bad because we're on very hard difficulty. I'm gonna do my best, but you know, you have seen every experience I've had with this game. Do not expect much, all right? But let's see if I can do something here. Oh, fuck. Oh! Man, I tried to launch into my fatal blow there, but we're, you know what? We don't even need it. We're gonna save it! Very hard difficulty. My ace is very fucking hard. Get the fuck out of here. Interesting that Liu Kang apparently is not th just the boss. We fought him last, so I thought he might be the boss, but I guess he's not. Oh, I'm, man, I'm trying to launch into my fucking fatal blow. I don't even have it. I'm just so hyped up on the on the idea of it. Look at that, man. So do, we don't even know. I guess I don't even know. You guys might. Who the main heel is. I mean, I know we have Shang Tsung. He's like the, the pre-order bonus deal. Hoot! Ooh. I think it's fatality time. Okay. Down, forward, down, circle. That's gotta be close, right? Get out of here. Finish him. No, it's not close! Wins. That's Shao Kahn's voice, and I have seen rumblings and rumors that Shao Kahn may be here may be here as General Shao, which would be cool. It'd be another new wrinkle, something we haven't seen before. Um But yeah, Shang Tsung is here. I know people were kind of hoping for Onaga. I don't see that happening, but you never know. You know, we've got we've got so many 3D era characters here. But we still have a lot to learn. I was so excited with the last trailer. The Havoc Ashra Reptile trailer. In my opinion, that's the best one yet, and it's not even close. Dude, very hard difficulty. Suck my ass. Get out of here with that. You think I don't see that coming? You're not getting me with that bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. No way. You know what? I don't think I've seen Katana's grapple yet. I'm giving away this whole round just trying to land it here. Nope. Whoop. That didn't work. There we go. Oh, Diamond Cutter from Sonya Blade. How do you like that? The three piece and then the diamond cutter was the soda. You gotta love it. That is. Oh, dude, if we can chase him up into the sky. And Katana's gotta have her fucking. Uh... Oh, that was cool. I don't know how to do that. Katana's gotta have her. Uh... There it is. Something like that. Let's see if we can do that. Come here, you fuck. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. You son of a bitch. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. We're gonna go shit. We're not gonna go shit. As much as you might like it, Sub-Zero, we're not. Oh yeah, okay, we can do better than that. But that's a start. Where's, oh, Sony was looking for Frankensteiner there. Let's get this fatal blow going. Love that double flying knee to start off Sonya's portion of this. Oh, man! I love top of the head stabs. Okay, now let's get this right. Down, forward, down, circle. We're gonna go medium. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Fatality. Get That's a winner, dude. 
that's a winner. Dude, that was that was so much simpler too than Mortal Kombat 11. You know, through 9, 10, and 11, the fatalities and the fatal blows, they got so long. You know, you would kill somebody and then you would just keep killing them for like 45 more seconds. Sub-Zero's is kind of long, but that Katana fatality, that was simple. It was to the point. I'm gonna blend you from head to toe at the same time, and it's gonna converge in the middle. What's not to like? You know? I did a video years... Oh, yeah, that was sick. Katana might be my main girl, man. Dude, Katana feels great. Kenshi whooping my ass doesn't feel so great right now. Sonya! Hey, Sonya! Remember that? <laughs> man, Kenshi showed the fuck up here. Okay, so I see what happened before when I said I don't know about that. Because I launched a fatal blow and I still got knocked out in the round. You can launch your fatal blow, but they can hit you a time or two. It's not immediate, you know? Oh, God. I blocked it. Let's not squander it. We got it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we got Katana's Fatality last time. I think now... Oh, I botched that. I think now I would like to see Sonya's Cameo Fatality. Which is back, forward, down, R1. And I don't want to start close. I'll start from medium. And then if we have to get close, we will. Or as Chael Sonnen would say, I can't let you get close. Get out of my face oh dear well red sonya and i'm not talking about the sword kenshi's got the sword i don't remember what the fatality buttons were what were they back forward down r1 fuck you got it Dude, look how simple that is. That's as classic as it gets. That is a straight up recreation of the Mortal Kombat 1 version of that. So you can't even say Mortal Kombat 1. The Mortal Kombat 92. The Mortal Kombat original. Goodness me. What a fucking... It's a good name, it's a clever name, but it's also a bad name, alright? It is. <gasps> Round one, fight. I can't get over how hot Katana is in this game. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now that we know especially... Wait a minute, am I realizing that there's a daytime stage and a nighttime stage for this? That's cool. I like that. Um, a little extra mileage there, right? Unless the sun is going down while we're fighting. And I just didn't recognize it last time. The water in the background looks great. We are not going to get caught by that. You stupid idiot. Who do you think you're dealing with? Tell him, Sonya. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Dude, for very hard difficulty, I'm whooping some ass. Look at the fucking Roomba. You see the Roomba that just went by my feet? Dude, Katana's so good. But here's what we need. Oh shit. We we don't need that. We don't need that. Interesting. You know you notice how Johnny Cage does not have green surrounding him with his flash kick and his uppercut or jumping elbow right there. It's like clear. It's like a uh, it's like a transparent force field. It's not the green shit that he had before. Oh. Oh, breaker. Check it out though. Check it out though. That didn't work. Fuck. I wanted to cut his head off with my fan. What? Whoops. What is her fatality again? Down, forward, down, circle. Here we go. Let's blend up the movie star real quick. Fatality. Kitano wins. 
Ooh, Shao Kahn sounded like he liked that as much as I did. Kitana wins. He wasn't like Kitana wins. There's a little something on that. He put his whole ass into that. Kitana wins. Goodness me. Kitana and Kano. Kitano versus Katanya. <laughs> Dan Ed's place your bets. Who wins? Katanya or Katano? Not a big difference here between Katana and Player 2 Katana. It's really just the colors, is it not? Unless I'm not seeing something. Granted, I don't have a lot of time to focus on them. Dude, the air combos are so much better. I caught her with Sony right there. The air combos string together so naturally in this game. I love that. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Katana got a big ass in this game, man. Sorry. <laughs> Got a, got a real nice look at it there for a second hit. Oh, look at that. How about that? How do I sign up to take that move? <laughs> Whoop. Come on. I was just out of range. I got to tell you, I think I like... I might like the uh, the Player 2 Katana colors better. The the light blue, I think that's a really nice look. I like the, the, the standard as well. But come on, man. That light blue is fucking nice looking. We are just comboing back and forth here. Gotcha! I don't think so. Get out of my face. Ooh, dude, do you see that piece of wood we sent flying back there? Big bang, how about it? Ooh, caught me sleeping. Now we gotta switch characters, man, because we've seen... Oh, yeah. We've seen the Katana Fatality, we've seen the Sonya Fatality. We gotta switch it up. We gotta get a look at some other, uh, some other, uh, characters. Some other fighters. But we gotta do this first. Hold on, it's coming, it's coming. Whoop. Here it is, you ready? Gotcha! <laughs> Kitana wins. Now, I quit out because there was no point in continuing uh, to just do another fight. We've seen Kitana through and through. Uh, let's get a look at Lee Mei. People online are freaking out about Lee Mei. And we have not seen Jax yet. We have not seen the Jax fatality. Jax. We're going to stick with very hard. I was kicking ass on very hard difficulty, so why would we come down? This Jax design is nice. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, but he looked so good in Mortal Kombat 11. So did Johnny Cage, I know, they like to switch things up. Man, Lee may not looking too bad either, huh? How about it? Ha, he, oh, look at that! I love the particle effects on whatever the hell that was that I did as Lee May. Dude, Lee May has, a, has really nice boxing. Are you seeing this? There's like actual technique there. Instead of just goofy ass fucking, uh, you know, windmill punches and shit. It actually looks really nice. Oh man, oh man. Okay, let me show you something here, Johnny. Whoop, maybe not. Nice little uppercut ski. Can't be mad about that. How's the grapple situation? Gotcha. Okay, Lee May. I didn't even have a grapple as Lee May. Jax just came in and did it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Man, we had a nice little, uh, nice little flawless deal going on there for a second. Couldn't keep it running, though. Let's check out... Should we check out Jax's first? Where's the cameo? Down, forward, down, R1. Oh my god, it's not. 
No, it isn't. It is! Holy shit! Fatality. Lee May wins. I... That is so amazing that they brought that back. For those of you who are like, what the fuck did I... Man, that really looks good. The goopiness of the blood on that boot. How about it? For those of you who are like, what just happened? In Mortal Kombat 3, a long time ago... Jax would just become a giant stomp on you. They never explained it, you know? <laughs> they don't have to. Mortal Kombat's stupid. Oh, purple pants Jax! See, that's more Mortal Kombat 3 style, or red pants Jax. I should say red trim and purple trim. That's Mortal Kombat 2. You guys know that. Most of you know that. You know what's not so fun about Kenshi wearing predominantly red? Is it's harder to fuck. I don't think it's harder to fuck. I think if you're wearing red, you're probably gonna fuck that day. <laughs> it's harder to enjoy how bloody we are making him. Because he's already red, you know? I don't even think I know... There we go. That was nice. I was gonna say, I don't think I know any of Lee Mei's uh, special moves. But I figured out that uh, candle fucking deal. The fucking candle lantern, whatever the hell you call those. I am. Oh, I, I can get hurt by my own Jax? Wait, he's sticking around. How long is he gonna stick around? Wow, he sticks around for like two moves. That's interesting. Everybody else gets in and they get the hell out. Oh, gotcha! Alright, we're not gonna give this away. That also, I feel like that had a really long cooldown, too. Come on, Jax. I gotta not get hit by my own gotcha. Or my own Earth Pound deal. Did we get him? No, we didn't. Wow, okay. So we gotta focus here. Because I do not intend... Well... He didn't leave me much choice. I was gonna say, I do not intend to give this away. But Kenshi, man, he fucking took that away from me. God, I love Lee Mei's boxing. It looks so good. Wow. All right. We're figuring something out about Lee Mei here. We're figuring some shit out. I don't know how I did that. I did like a rushing, uh, a rushing knee there that was pretty goddamn cool. All right, let's get her fatality ready. Forward, backward, forward, X. And we're gonna do it from medium, because that's where, like, everything has been so far. Here we go. Two head kicks. Okay, what was it? Forward, backward, f oh, forward, forward, backward, forward, X. Yep, okay. I almost second-guessed it. These are great, dude. These fatalities are fantastic. And they are they are pared down. They're much shorter. So I wonder how the community at large is going to feel about them. That there's less craziness about them. In a way, there's less craziness, you know? That's going to be interesting to see how people react to it. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda of want to quit out of this fight now that we have seen both of their fatalities. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Round one. Fight. There you go, Dan Dans. We are gonna check out Kenshi and Kano. We gotta get a look at their fatalities. Now, I don't think we're gonna look at everybody. You know, this is just a taste. This is just a taste. We're not, we're not gonna fucking do the deepest dive. And I know there are people out there who are much better players than I am. And they are, uh, you know, they're looking at everything frame by frame and they're studying all this shit. Here on Mortal Kombat Monday, unless it's a scripted video, you know what we do. We get together, we play a little bit, we have some fun. So we're just gonna get a look at uh, Kenshi and Kano's fatalities, and then I think we're gonna get the hell out of here. What do you think about that?
Whoa. I would also like to chop a head off with that move right there. I think that would be fun. That would be a fun thing to do. It's funny to see Kano and Kenshi working together. Like if there couldn't possibly be two people who are less, less likely to get along. I don't know what to do with the, with that spirit over there. Or does he just do his thing and I have to hope that we can sandwich her? Because that was kind of nice. Okay, what is Kano's fatality? Back, down, forward, R1. We got this. Here we go. Okay, I think you do them all from like medium range. Fatality. Can she win? Yeah, man, just the classic. He comes in and he fucking takes care of business. Rips the heart out. Eventually, I think I said this on this very channel years ago. When the fatalities continue to get crazier and crazier and crazier, you know, you chop somebody's head off, you kick it into the air, you cut it down the middle, then you cut it horizontally, the four pieces land on the ground, then you stomp on the four pieces. They were dead on the first one. The first cut killed them, you know? So you hit a point of diminishing returns where I, I honestly think, and maybe they have finally realized this, that sometimes the short and sweet, you know, simple yet effective can easily get the job done. And I don't see it as a lack of effort or anything like that. Kano comes in. Boom! Man, I, okay, I was excited for Mortal Kombat 1. Just like the baseline excited, you know? Because it's Mortal Kombat. But after playing this and seeing how good it feels, and I, I literally like the way that every character feels so far... I'm so excited not to just explore the rest of the roster, but to, like, get my hands on fucking Homelander and Peacemaker and shit, you know? God damn, I can't wait to play as Reptile, let me tell ya. You know, don't you taunt me. I'll taunt too, you son of a bitch. Get out of here! Dude, he is soaked. Look at him. I soaked him from head to toe. Get the fuck out of here. I think this next one is probably going to be it. We're going to hit the Kenshi Fatality on Fire God Liu Kang. And we're going to wrap up this episode of Mortal Kombat Monday. Dan Dan's MK1 is very close. It's right around the goddamn corner. And I am very excited to get my hands on the full game. I'm I'm not usually a pre-order guy, you know? I pre-ordered Diablo 4. That was the first game I pre-ordered in a long time. And uh, I'm loving Diablo 4. I'm doing my best to make time to play a little Diablo every day before bed. You know, just as a, as a reward to myself, I earned it. As long as I got all my shit done that I needed to do. I earned a little bit of Diablo time. Um, and I'm not a pre-order guy. I'm against pre-ordering. But with this, now, I think it's pretty clear we know... He just no-sold that eye laser, didn't he? We know what we're getting. I certainly know what I'm getting with this package. And I'm quite, I'm quite enamored with what I've got my hands on here. I'm getting my shit pushed right now. So I'm not very pleased about that. We're going to try to springboard off of this fatal blow into getting this fight back on track. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, God, I don't know any fucking fatality. Oh, there it goes. <sighs> oh, wow. Whoa, you can do a fatal blow on the finisher screen? Wow, that's cool. 
I think that's new. You were never able to do that. Obviously, we have to retry because we didn't get that Kenshi fatality, and that's what I want to see. I don't know a single fucking Kenshi combo. Circle, square, circle. Forward, square, square, triangle. Forward, triangle, triangle, circle. Who the fuck presses circle and square? I don't like Kenshi. I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't like his, his fatalities don't feel right, or not his fatalities, his combos don't feel right. I don't even remember what I just looked at. What was that? Forward, triangle, triangle, circle? Yeah, I guess that is what it was. I don't like that. See? I'm not- I'm off my groove. I think Kenshi is the first guy I can say I'm not gonna be fucking with Kenshi much. This guy... This is not my kind of guy. Dude, Liu Kang just eats the eye laser. He doesn't sell it at all. I feel like I should be doing more with that combo, and it's just not happening. I thought it was forward triangle, triangle circle. Maybe I'm not doing it right? I don't know. Well, like I said, I don't I don't like the way he feels, so. I'm gonna put the blame on uh on the game. Not me. I do not accept the blame. <laughs> I'm gonna lose again, dude. I'm gonna try one more time, and if I can't get it, then that it is what it is. Round one, fight. Give me one decent fucking combo. Let's see. Square, circle, square. Square, triangle. Oh, there's different stances and shit? God damn. Yeah, fuck Kenshi. Kenshi sucks. I don't even feel like I have my distance down with him. That was nice. He sold it for once. That's the square circle square. If I finally landed it, but I still don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it looks. God damn. I hate Kenshi, dude. Hate him. Don't like the way he feels. Kano comes in, does absolutely nothing to help me. I was behind Liu Kang there. He caught me with a punch. It is what it is. I just, I, you know what I want to do? I want to get this. I'm going for a fatal blow. I don't even have it. Thank you, Kano. Come on in again and help me out, will you? Nope. No, you will not. Oh, this is bad. Well, there it goes. And he's going to finish me with his fatal blow. Dan Dance, we're not getting the Kenshi fatality. You can Google it. It is what it is. I don't like Kenshi. Don't like the way he feels. Love Katana. Like Sub-Zero a lot. Lee Mei was good. I was starting to find my shit with Lee Mei. Dan Dan's Mortal Kombat 1 fucks. This is awesome. Thank you to Basua once again for making this possible. Giving me this code. I hope you enjoyed this episode, Dan Dance. I love you, and I'll see you next week.